To write the name for PbSO4, we first need to recognize SO4. That's the sulfate ion. So we have this polyatomic ion called the sulfate ion here. We also have Pb. That's lead, and that's a transition metal. So we have our metal and our group of nonmetals in the polyatomic ion. This is an ionic compound. And with an ionic compound, we'll use these rules to write the name for PbSO4. First, we write the name for the metal. Pb is lead. Then we write the name for the polyatomic ion. So SO4 is the sulfate ion. And right now, we have the name lead sulfate for PbSO4. But lead, that's a transition metal. And it can have a different charge depending on what it's bonded to. So if we look at the sulfate ion, the whole thing has a 2 minus ionic charge. So since the sulfate has that 2 minus, the lead, that has to be 2 plus for these charges to balance out, give us a net charge of 0. So because we have the 2 plus on the lead and it's a transition metal, we're going to write a 2 here between the lead and the sulfate. So the name for PbSO4 is lead 2 sulfate. If you were given the name and asked to write the formula, you'd recognize that lead had a 2 plus ionic charge. You remember that sulfate is 2 minus, so you only need one lead atom and one sulfate ion for the charges to balance out. The formula is PbSO4. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.